This is Coffee with God and I am Father Jos. Let us begin this day with the word of God and a short reflection. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew, chapter 5, verses 13 to 16. The passage is taken from the message version of the Bible. You're here to be salt seasoning that brings out the God flavors of this earth. If you lose your saltiness, how will people taste godliness? You've lost your usefulness and will end up in the garbage. Here's another way to put it. You're here to be light, bringing out the God colors in the world. God is not a secret to be kept. We're going public with this, as public as a city on a hill. If I make you light bearers, you don't think I'm going to hide you under a bucket, do you? I'm putting you on a light stand. Now that I've put you there on a hilltop, on a light stand, shine. Keep open house. Be generous with your lives. By opening up to others, you'll prompt people to open up with God, this generous Father in heaven. The Gospel of the Lord. Reflections on the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew chapter 5 verses 13 to 16. Can pure salt lose its taste? In fact, it will not. But when we buy salt from the market, on the package you may find the dates of manufacturing and expiration. The reason is that in the process of producing and packaging salt, The manufacturers also add some chemicals for various reasons. If the product is not used within the time frame, chemical reactions could occur that make the product no longer edible. In Jesus' time in Palestine, salt had the chance of getting contaminated with other substances that over time would react with it and cause a chemical change. This results in salt spoilage. Therefore Jesus may have cautioned disciples not to take their faith for granted. He had just proclaimed the promises of the beatitude. But the disciples who live in a corrupted and corrupting world must be on constant watchfulness and conversion to obtain the happiness of the beatitude. In this context of the blessings and happiness we reflected on yesterday the example of salt losing its taste could well refer to the power of the world to corrupt the disciples to lead them to doubt the power of god to intervene in human history to bring about the promised happiness if we lose hope in the certainty of the promise of the beatitude we will indeed be no longer suitable for the purposes of god's kingdom we disciples of jesus have a mission to show in our lives as individuals and as community the possibilities of the kingdom like salt and light our life is for others inevitably our behavior would affect our world our society which is already sunk in corrupt ideologies provided we do not lose our saltiness and become like the rest among whom we live for better or for worse like a town built on a hill we would be noticed the christian community is not to confine itself but become a beacon of hope for the corrupt world around from the inevitability of being noticed jesus explains the opportunity and responsibility of the disciples discipleship is not a private privilege it's a duty just as light is not light if it does not shine so love is not love if it does not reach out if it is not shared our good works are not additional duties or tasks we are asked to perform instead they are examples of how god's kingdom manifests itself in our lives